country. What a word, such a wonder. What is a country? Do you need to build one? It exists everywhere around you. In the air, in the land, in the water, in the sun, in the night, in the people, in the buildings, in everything. It dresses you, it is around you, it nurtures you. What does it mean to love the country where you live? Does it have to offer you something? You must live in truth, in honor, in happiness, in love. This is what it means to love the country you live in, and then it will live through you, free, beautiful, and happy. Once there came a king. He knew nothing of Romanian land. He had only heard of it. And when he dressed in it, he became Romanian, but not an ordinary one. The most Romanian of all Romanians. And he left behind him a modern country. He never had any nights, only days. Nights which turned into days. And the days turned into truth. And they gathered infinite love to the stars. Did they melt the steel cannon and turn it into a crown? The cannon's steel was hot, hot from the war. But on his temples, it grew cold in the light's explosion toward infinity. He loved the grass, he loved the land, he loved the sun, he loved the fields, he loved the mountains, he loved the rivers and he loved the sea. And because of this, he left a country behind. I closed my eyes in tears of happiness and left behind a king who fought for his country in the Great War. A king and a queen who learned the meaning of the word country. Who are you? What do you love? How do you live? Why are you throwing the country into the universe, Brankush? Where does your infinity come from? How much did you love us, to leave us the gate of kiss, the table of silence, where the gods of time talked and invented the endless column? And how could you make, out of the bodies of dead soldiers, the infinity of love? And when you loved, Mayastra sang to you. Time! We are a people of emperors. A wall carved in dry stone, where water stands to spring alone. We are the song of a mighty Dacian, who carries within himself fire and water, the red of war, the yellow of fields, and the blue of waters.